Let's take a minute and get you familiarized with your Matterport account. Now, if you don't see a feature or button or anything like that that you see on my screen, that's probably because you're on a free or starter plan. I'm on the pro plan, so if you are on either a pro or business plan, pretty much everything is gonna be just as you see here. If you're on an enterprise plan, everything that you see here on my screen, you'll also have on your screen, but you also have some features that I won't get to in this video. So let's get started with the right side of your page. By default, when you go into your account, you get to the all spaces page and you see all the folders and models that are in your account. We'll come back to this. So for now, I'll go into dashboard. On the right side over here, you'll get to see updates about Matterport and maybe features that were just introduced. And in the center column and left over here, you'll have information about your account specifically. So for example, in this panel, you have account usage, which shows you the active spaces that you currently have and the active space limit for your account, as well as the user count. In the center column, you can see a short list of the most recently edited digital twins. Back on the left side, you'll see the most recently placed orders. This is in reference to any orders placed with capture services. Below that, you have any add-on activity, things like floor plans, CAD files, BIM assets, and so on. And below that, any activity related to your true plan orders, as well as the ability to invite additional users, admins, collaborators from the invite user panel right over here. Now, again, I'll skip all spaces and we'll go to public and unlisted spaces. This is just a list of all the public and unlisted digital twins that you have in your account. So these are publicly accessible or accessible via a special link that you may wanna know about because they're not private. The next page down is statistics. This is obviously a good place to go if you wanna know the stats on your digital twins. The impressions, the visits, the unique visits, all that is gonna be listed here. You can see that I have the ability to export data. This is one of those things that the starter and free plan don't have access to. So. If you don't see this, that's probably why. Next is the users page. And I talk a lot more about this in another video that I'll link to in the corner. After that, we have capture services. Here's where I can place an order with capture services or go back and review previously placed orders. What's new just brings up a little pop-up. Similar to the panel on the right side of the dashboard, this will also show you the latest features and things like that from Matterport, as well as the latest blog posts. Moving on, we have the Discover page. This will just open up the Discover page in a new tab and settings. I'm not gonna get into anything on the settings page because I'm gonna include a whole series of videos that talks about every one of these different tabs at the top here. So let's move back to all spaces. And this is probably where you're gonna be spending most of your time when you're in your account. So starting from the top, we have the new folders button. So if I just tap that, I can create a new folder. A new folder has been created. Over to the right, I have a search bar. By default, when I enter in a search, it's gonna search by the name of the digital twin or folder. And I can also press the filter button right over here to search by different criteria, not just the name and description. And each one of these can be added to a specific digital twin. So for example, of course, you can add an address. A space ID is given by default every time a new digital twin is uploaded for processing. And of course, internal ID, MLS name, as well as MLS listing ID, these can all be added to this space details. And I'll show you where to see that in a minute. Now you'll also notice that I have this sample space up here. And this is really great because it allows you the chance to start playing and editing with a digital twin prior to uploading your own space or having a space transfer to you. And below sample spaces, I have some sorting drop downs and these are only gonna affect digital twins themselves and not folders. So regardless of what I choose here, if I choose only show me the archived digital twins in my account, I'll still be able to see all three folders because we're not looking at digital twins. I don't have any digital twins in my root folder. I'm just gonna clear that. Here I can choose to only view the private digital twins or the unlisted or public digital twins. So let's get rid of that. Here, I can choose to hide the folders. So if I do have a bunch of folders and a bunch of digital twins, then I press this and it'll just hide all the folders. And that way I can focus on just the digital twins that are in here and then go ahead and properly organize them. Keep an eye on this one. If you're missing folders, it might just be this checkbox. So uncheck it and you'll see all your folders again. Now down here, it says date created and doesn't look like a button, but I can click on it and choose to sort this list of folders and digital twins in other ways. I can also press on the arrow key to change that, whether it's ascending or descending. And the checkbox over here to the left, of course, will check every folder or digital twin that I have in this list. I can also uncheck specific folders if I don't want one of them, anything I want right there. And that, of course, allows me to either move, reactivate, or archive anything that I have checked, whether it's a folder or digital twin. Finally, moving on to the three dots over here, I can tap these three dots and get a short menu of things that I can do, share, rename this folder, reactivate this folder, assuming that there are archived models in this folder, move the entire folder, archive the entire folder, or delete the entire folder. If I go into a folder that has some models, you'll see the same thing, where I can press the three dots over here, 
and get essentially the same sort of uh, features along with copy space and transfer space in case I want to transfer this to somebody else's account. I also have edit details and this is something that I referenced earlier when I mentioned those sorting lists that included MLS listing ID and MLS name. If I go into edit details and I can actually also access this through the model page itself, but let's just do this real quick. In here I can choose internal details and this is where I can input my internal ID, MLS name, MLS listing ID, and so on. And the last thing that I don't need to be on this page for, but if I come right down here, I have my user profile and I can just click here. I can either sign out or go into my profile. And from my profile page, I can do things like edit profile details, changing my name. I can edit my email address and change my password as well. Now, everything that we covered up until now was from an admin perspective. So this is an admin page and things like users are not available to a collaborator. So let's take a look real quick at what a collaborator's page would look like. Here's what you can see from the collaborator's page. I'm logged into my collaborator account and you can see that I do have the ability to go into settings, but there's really nothing I can do. I can see that all of these settings are enabled, but I can't edit anything here. What I can do is see a list of administrators in this account. If I go into all spaces, I can only see the folders and models that have been shared with me that I have access to either view or edit. So that would be the North folder. The other two folders that we saw earlier in this account were not shared with me, so therefore I don't even know they exist. As you can also see, there is no users page. There's no users page for me to go in and see a list of collaborators and admins that are part of this organization or this account. The only way for me to see other collaborators is those associated with the same folder or digital twins that I'm associated with. So if I go into the three dot menu right here, press share and invite, I can see that list of collaborators that also have access to this folder. And here I'll also be able to change whether they are an editor or a viewer. And lastly, if I get out of here, I can go up here and create my own folders. If I create a folder, of course, I'll be able to see that folder and move models into that folder. I can also invite other collaborators to that folder, but I cannot delete that folder. I can create it, but if I press on the three dot menu right here, there's no way for me to delete this folder. Only administrators can delete folders and digital twins. Wow.